In these series of tutorials and videos, uh, we've been talking about best practices and ways to uh, eat, make your life easier when you're recording uh, content for your students at this time. Uh, so we haven't really talked about recording from uh, your, your own laptop or desktop because most teachers' computers don't have a webcam built in. Uh, but if you do have a new webcam or USB document camera, uh, this might be a good solution and a good workflow for you. Uh, you may want to record directly, record your Zoom meetings uh, directly into Google Drive. Uh, it'll save you a lot of clicking and dragging and sharing and, and things like that. Uh, just know that on the back end there, there are some things to know about your students. Uh, you may need to do some file renaming or, or some, some instruction with your students on how to figure out what video files are which. Um, but let's go through the, the one-time setup. If you do have a webcam uh, or USB doc cam, uh, let's show you how to get this workflow set up. We've got some one-time things to work through, uh, but after that, uh, it should be pretty straightforward for you. Uh, so first, in your Google Drive, let's make a new folder called Asterisk Zoom Video or something similar like that. Uh, so here's my drive. I'm going to make a new folder. Why put an asterisk in front of the name? If you have a lot of drive folders, it'll bring that Z folder up to the beginning. Uh, Zoom Videos. Okay, and I will create that. If you don't have a lot of things in your drive and just want to call it Zoom uh, or whatever you want to call it, that is excellent. Okay, uh, another tip, if you have other classes or if you want to record to different subjects, uh, you can also record uh, or create new folders and it's all call one called biology uh, and whatever you want to do. You can separate it up however you want. Okay, now let's go back this next step here change the sharing settings on the main Zoom video folder so that anyone with a link can view it and its contents. How do you do that? I can right click here on my folder, go to share, and then down here on the bottom where it says get link, just click down in there and by default it's restricted. Now you have two options here. You can say anyone within your domain can view the link. That's great for your students and, and other teachers, things like that. But if you intend your parents to be able to see these videos, you may want to set it so that anyone with the link can view the video. And it sets, it goes to view by default. And that's what I want. I'll copy this link because I might need it a little later. I can always come back and copy it later. So done. And the reason for doing the main folder that way is that now anything that I put into that folder, anything that's, any videos or files that are put in there will automatically be shared with those same settings, which is kind of nice. Okay, so now that I have that in place, uh, the next step is to install the Backup and Sync Google Drive app. Uh, if you follow that link there, you'll come to this page here. And if you aren't backing up your files to uh, using the Backup and Sync, this is a great opportunity anyway uh, to, to back up your files and make sure you don't lose anything. Uh, so I'm going to come here to Individuals and Download Backup and Sync. I will agree and download. And that installation will take just a minute or two there. Um, once that's downloaded to my computer, follow that link there in Chrome. And this really is the most simple setup uh, of many backup programs I've ever used. Um, it'll just ask me about three little questions here. Oh, I got to install, finish installing it first. Uh, authenticate. Uh, I've already got it installed, looks like. Um, so I'll just stop the recording and we'll go from there. I'm good to go. But if not, just follow your installation instructions for the backup and sync for Google Drive. Uh, I'm going to pause a minute and start um, open up my backup and sync that's already installed. All right, now we've got the backup and sync open and ready to go. Let's get started. And the first step is I need to sign in. And I will be using this account here. comes here to my preferences here. Choose the folders that I want to sync. Um, I'm not going to sync these. Well, I don't have anything there. I don't want to sync my pictures. Um, but I like to sync my desktop and my documents because anything I have here, I can always go back in and find later on. Uh, you can choose to sync your photos. Um, that's up to you. I'm syncing my other places. And then the last step, and this is the important one, is 
what files and folders do you want to sync from your drive? I'm going to say only these folders. I'll uncheck that and I'm just going to choose sync my Zoom videos and start. There we go. And so now that sync is setting up. Now let's go back to the next step. So the next step is I need to make sure I have the Zoom desktop client downloaded and installed. That link will take you here. Just and if you've been using Zoom on your on your desktop machine, you probably already have it. But if not, take a minute to download it, uh, install it, and sign in with your school account. I need to make sure that I, I think I've already done that. Yep. So I'm here. I'm I've opened my Zoom, and I have. I'm ready to, to uh, start meetings uh, and whatnot there. Now, the last step for recording video in Zoom is we need to change my Zoom preferences to record my video instead of into the default location. Uh, I want it to save to that Zoom video folder in Drive. And so the way you do that is here, go to the gear under settings, choose recording, and then right here where it says store my recordings at, we'll change that to and you should have your Google Drive in the sidebar, or if not, I'm, oh, there it is, my Google Drive right there, and I'm going to say Zoom Videos, and if your Google Drive isn't there, look in your Documents folder, uh, but it should be in your sidebar uh, somewhere prominent there, so I'll choose that. Nope. I need to make sure it says Zoom, so Zoom Videos. And I'll choose that folder, Zoom videos. All right, now we're ready to go. And so now when I'm doing my meetings, um, I can either schedule a meeting, uh, and this will work for those, but I'm just going to say new meeting and jump right in um, to start a meeting. We'll say join with computer audio. There we are. And so now I'm in my meeting here inside Zoom. Uh, I will start the recording. If you do have a document camera or another camera set up, you should be able to pick your camera with a little drop down menu right there if you have more than one. Um, same for the microphone. If you have more than one microphone, you can pick it from there. Um, so I'm going to record now. Hey, everybody. Welcome to class. This is our uh, Thursday meeting uh, today. I'd like you to focus on uh, this topic for for our class. I'd also want you to think about this and this and this. Uh, your recordings are going to be much more detailed than mine. Uh, so I'm going to stop the recording. Oh, before I do that, uh, I can also share my screen. Uh, choose a specific window to share. And this will, whatever I do in this window, uh, will be shown in my recording, be shown to my students uh, within the recording. So I can go through a slideshow um, and we can go through that. So let's talk about this while we're there. Once you have this in place, if, once I record a Zoom video meeting and I end the meeting, then the uh, recording will, will start to process and be saved into my drive. Um, and we'll talk about the options here uh, afterwards. So I'm going to stop my share. There I am. We'll see you guys later. Good to talk to you today. And stop the recording. And once you end the meeting, and end meeting for everyone, you should see a little notification pop up. And this is converting your meeting recording. The longer the meeting is, the longer it's going to take. And it is saving to your to that folder that the Google Drive is watching. Okay, and that's showing here right now. And I can see that um, the, the name of the folder is kind of weird. Okay, it's defaulting to the date of the meeting, the time the recording started, the name of the recording or the name of the meeting and then the meeting ID. So this is something you either want to rename for your students. So I'll say um, maybe keep that date and then call it uh, Thursday meeting week one or something that will make sense to your students. And then you also need to make sure that they know that this Zoom underscore four is the actual recording file. And that's what they'll need to um, they'll need to watch. So if they just click on the folder name, it won't. 
do them anything. Uh, you may just want to rename this file and get rid of the folder and just put it in your list of videos. However you want to manage that with your students. Um, and so the, the, uh, the synchronize, synchronization is going. That little green check mark there says that the Zoom video is uploaded to my drive and we're ready to go. It's still trying to sync that folder name, uh, but it should be, uh, we should have that there shortly. All right. So let's see if we've talked about all this stuff. So now once I've got that in place, I can either choose to just add the, the link to my Zoom meetings into Canvas so that kids can just click on that and see all of my recordings, or you can add or embed the videos into your LMS as you go. And I've got instructions on in other videos on how to embed your videos or, or add them to your Google Classroom within this, uh, within this Canvas course. Uh, we've already talked about the folder names and the video file names just to make sure that students know which ones they need to uh, to watch. So let's let's check it out. So let's see. I'm going to edit my page here. I've got a Canvas class, and I'm going to come in here and let's see how to video. I will either say apologize for that. Click here to view all of my Zoom videos. And I'll also show you how, how to embed it. So I'm going to click here, highlight that, and use my link button. Choose external links because we're going out to Google Classroom. And the link is to my drive folder right there. I will say done. And so let's save and publish that page. Let's see if this works. Drum roll, please. Click there. It'll go into my Zoom video. And hey, there we go. There is a folder in there with my Zoom meeting. It didn't get the rename yet, but if I open that up, Zoom underscore zero, open that up, and this should be my recording. Hey, everybody. Welcome to class. This is our uh, Thursday meeting. Uh, today, I'd like you to focus on uh, this topic for, for our class. I'd also want you to think about this and this and this. Uh, your recordings are going to be much more detailed than mine. And I end the meeting, then the uh, recording will, will start to process and be saved in my drive. Um, and we'll talk about the options here uh, afterwards. So I'm going to stop right. my share. And there you go. So that should be all we need to show how to embed the video. So that works. Uh, and again, that's just going to be a giant list of all of your, your videos. So you really want to be careful with how you name those folders for your kids. If I want to embed that video, let's come back here to edit. And uh, no, I don't want to see that. And here's the fun thing. Uh, this won't work for me because I have two different accounts tied into it. So I'll show you the hard way uh, to embed uh, the folders. If you want the easy way, look at uh, embedding Google Video into Canvas uh, in my in my other Canvas core or in this in the other recordings. So from here, I'm going to open this in its own window. This is the old school way of embedding. And then from here, it starts to play. I don't want it to play. I can grab the snowman menu, say embed this item. There's my code. I'm going to copy that. Right click and choose copy. Come back here. And instead of this embed, I'm going to come here to upload record media, embed. There's my embed code. I like to change the size just because that's what I do with all the rest of my, uh, with all of my recordings that I, that I do. So there we go. So there's the video. Very good. And I can see it. So it's shared. I'll save that. And there we go. There it is. And just to make sure that you guys have the, uh, the link to it, and to show you how to use another nice feature of um, how-to videos, Zoom videos, let's see. I hope that didn't just do what I thought. Yep, okay. And so right here, I'm going to go here to my course links, and I'm going to link back to that page. That is how to embed Google Drive video with the Google Drive app or plugin. And so that, if you're 
I like again, I'm, I'm using two different Google Drive accounts. Uh, so this will show you how to embed it when you have the same account. This is just the straight link to my videos. And this is how you, I'll come here, quote, old school, Google Drive video embed. Okay. I hope that helps. Save my page. Uh, please let me know if you have any other questions or want to uh, explore other workflows and, and try to make things easier for you. Have a good day.